Hello and welcome to episode 38 of my informative playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Now, I've just come back to the capital after Bald Hill. I didn't see any point in, in including that in the video. But um, we're about to trigger uh, some some events, But so I didn't want to preload this even though it's going to uh, be quite a, quite a long loading time because there's going to be people who want to talk to us straight away. And this video is going to involve a fair amount of kingdom management and that's a lot of that is because we need to kill some time in order for a particular quest I want to trigger a Bartholomew related quest and so yeah and we've also got um, uh, Jubilost as our treasurer something I can't remember if I put in on screen or not but uh, uh, we've our um, economy has has um, gone up to 20 and so that means Jubilost, as treasurer, has come for a chat in the same way that um, others have as well. Anyway, uh, he's he's come with a piece of paper, and uh, <laughs> which is a list of things that seemed to have been hidden in the basement of Alice's mansion, the Baroness's mansion, and uh, yes, the Staglord's secret cache. So. All items stolen by bandits. And Jubilos considers that finding these items is... Finding the owners of these items is going to be a pain. But, you know, he is not uh, an evil character. And so he is indicating that uh, we could perhaps spend an equal amount on the uh, on the barony itself. On, on those who suffered under the Stag Lord. He's, not, he's neither good nor bad, but he is... He is fair, I suppose, uh, is Jubilost. Now, um, uh, we can either take them. He's not going to be happy about that, but that'll give us 60 BP. Um, we can spend a lot of time um, trying to return them to the people, or we can, as Jubilost is recommending, we can sell them and use that money to um, to plow back into the barony to make everyone happy. And we want to keep Jubilost happy, so we're just going to pick this one here. And he likes that, and we get plus three to our community. So... Thank you, Jubilost. And it said there, new events support the treasurer's endeavours. And that is implying that um, uh, we have ranked up. But first, I'm just going to dump a load of stuff into um, into storage. I'm storing all this food for later because we're not doing much cooking. But I don't want to get rid of it because we will be doing cooking later on. While on the, um, on the other hand, I also don't want to be carting it around. Um, we'd also will store all those those light um, uh, cure light wounds potions. We don't need them either. Wyvern cloak. Um, we'll sell that later. So that should be that should be everything there. And I've bought eighteen rations. We're not going to need that many, but um, it's it's worth it. So let's just go ahead and bring up the kingdom management screen. So we've got quite a lot of ranking up, which we can do. Now, both treasurer and um, community. This is a um, uh, great success for solving the eight-legged plague. That's really nice. So you can see here, community loyalty, military, and economy have all gone up to um, twenty. So they they can all they're all they're all over twenty. So in theory, they can all be be ranked up now. Um, and uh, yes, so so and what we've got. Is we're on the 13th. Yep, three available rank ups. Now, it's common wisdom that you should do the main quest as soon as possible in chapter two. However, if we do it as quickly as possible, I could go off and uh, it would only take a few days to, um, to sort out the trolls. If we do, we'd miss out on a Bartholomew related quest. And so, what I'm actually going to do is um, kill quite a lot of time um, in between now and uh, um, then. So first of all, we're going to stick Vragonga here. We're going to do this this um, uh, this project. This will give him plus two bonus to solve events, which is is really powerful because we're playing on on normal. You know, we need as much bonuses as possible to solving events. So that's uh, 75 BP. And 
we are going to rank up Tristian, who's uh, who's a seven at the moment, and we've got some some issues. This one here, but fortunately, we can we can sit on this because DC fifteen isn't uh, isn't enormously successful. It's only going to give us a seven sixty five percent chance of success there. So no no no. There we go. And when you rank up your your um, your advisors, it takes 14 days at the moment. So it's it's and you can't do anything else during that time. So you see all these events pop in. We'll get two weeks worth of BP, um, which is nice. But um, uh, yes, so he's rank rank two now, and we'll see what other events. Ambitious Recruits has completed, so Rogonga should be getting plus 10, I think, which is really good. And we can see our events. So we've got, um, <laughs> obviously we wasted, or we waited 14 days before discussing this. Actually, we only need to wait one day, but uh, we don't want to waste time. Um, we've got these troll sightings, you know, and these take 28 days to solve. But... It should be attended before um, the first of Erodus. That's uh, month eight, and we're only at the end of month six at the moment. So we've got lots of time on that. It's only DC eleven, but it takes a long time. We'll just shelve it. Um, our regent is demanding our attention, which is um, that, which is good. That is um, Octavia, and that's um, because we've uh, we've now got uh, um, um, community up to uh, twenty as well. Um, this is an opportunity. We uh, is whether it's worth sticking someone in it. I'll um, I'll have a think. And we've got a second problem here, which will also need to be be solved. So let's just um, head into the throne room just to to go through the conversation part. So, um, um, Octavia, remember, chaotic good. So, um, <laughs> some crook showed up at your gates. It says he's brought tribute and asked for permission to conduct his business under your protection. And, uh, yes, essentially a bandit. So we can, um, we can arrest him, we can throw him out, or we can, um, we can take. This will give us 1d4 BP per week. And this is a bandit favoring option here. Yeah, if you're, if you want to favor bandits, I recommend you go all in. That, but that's that's a penalty minus two to loyalty minus five to economy. It's pretty harsh. Anyway, we're going to take the um, Octavius happy route because uh, plus three community is quite nice. Anyway, there we go. She likes that, um, and we can level her up now as well. Or I should say, rank her up as an advisor. So we get um, because we uh, because we defeated Silky, we get a big wadge of cash. Thank you, everyone, for um, solving the um, the spider issue. And uh, yes, this ancient curse and the spiders were were you know scary, but they weren't. You know, they didn't have the feeling of being the full full deal. And uh, Yes, it seems more like the plot of an insane dryad than a true curse. And, uh, yes, so... Tristan coming in with maybe the curse drove the dryad insane, causing her to lead the spider invasion into the barony. And, uh, yes. <laughs> it's growing quiet once more, but uh, the curse is simply <laughs> laying low. Anyway, what? Again? And, uh, yeah. So how much time do we have? Basically... A long time half a year that's ages we're shelving this curse which will reappear once we've done a lot more stuff um, and you know the curses are tied to the different acts of the game so we we can just hang on and do questing and that sort of stuff anyway I want to deal with this problem once and for all what do you recommend <laughs> level the level the hilltop don't think that'll work Lindsay and uh, yes so 
you know, um, if we attack again, we might provoke it. Best to just prepare and uh, level everyone up. And uh, yes, um, but we get more curse research basically. That's and and we're going to be doing plenty of curse research, but uh, not quite yet. Anyway, let's prepare for the next attack. Very wise. There we go. And so, if only we knew more. I suppose the locals, they never had any spider invasions before. Nothing ever happened on the bald hilltop before. Right when the new barony appears in the stolen lands. All this seems highly coincidental. Yes, Lindsay. Uh, it's quite the coincidence. Anyway. So, we're waiting for a, for a throne room event, basically. And so, I've kind of worked out and it normally works out like this, is that we've got three rank ups we can do. But we've also got to solve various problems. So we've done these two. There we go, that's nice. So we want to stick Tristian to try and do the mysterious weed there. And we've also got a mysterious cult. And we'll stick Octavia in there. And I'll spend a, a crisis point, you know, a precious resource there. Let's see how that goes. Off you go. We're just going to shelve troll sightings. And uh, um, how long is this going to take? 14 days. See our cursory search. Two more. Let's take a gamble on there. 75% chance. And actually, yes. And um, that's not what we're going to do. Let me just sort of remind myself. Cancel that. We'll just let that expire. And we're going to rank up Ragonga. Because now that we, we've um, uh, taken on you know, the risk of uh, penalties, increased penalties for failing, we kind of want him to go up. So we'll burn through some more time. Lots and lots of stuff appearing. Here we go. He's ranked two. And let's see how our events turned out. Okay. Birthday. Happy birthday, Alice. Some nice um, her bonuses there, including a little bit of BP. Um, Harem has completed curse research. So, plus two divine. We're lagging a bit here. Um, might put some more work into raising this. And... Uh, We've also got a heartbroken mother in the throne room and an important visitor demanding an audience and no more issues yet. We do have this trade agreement um, which um, we're going to want to, to do and we've got uh, additional rankings up so um, yes anyway let's back to the throne room. And we get Stefano Moschioni, who reeks of vanity. <laughs> yes, very nice. As the ruler of this barony, I'm flattered by your attention. So Stefano Moschioni of Pitax at your service. And of course, Pitax is barely better than, than, than us. You know, a former bandit of <laughs> kingdom, now turned, you know, legitimate or semi-legitimate kingdom. Anyway. Um, what brings a protection noble to my barony? And, uh, yes, traveling from, from Restov to Pitax. And, uh, thought he'd stick his head in. Um, so. We could take this, this neutral option. A five-year-old could tell you you're deliberately trying to offend me, Sir Stefano. Perhaps you could tell us directly what it is you came here for. And anyway, we can threaten him, but let's just be neutral and uh, wanted to see whether the barony had anything to offer Pitex and you know what I found <laughs> you have nothing to offer military weak culture weak economy weak I just ranked these up <laughs> this. yes so um, hopefully best pray King Irrevetti doesn't declare war on you hmm okay and uh, uh, we're gonna pick this neutral good 
option there. Perhaps there's a touch of truth in your words, but my barony is still very young. Everything will be different soon. And uh, we can be very rude to him. Um, or we can uh, threaten him. But uh, uh, let's just uh, try and placate him. Anyway. And he just doubles down on being very rude. I don't particularly like this guy. And uh, I shan't continue this slaughter. No use battling someone who can't even fight back. Alice, you're going to have to toughen up to um, deal with protection nobles. Anyway, off he goes. So our neighbours are quite rude. And uh, this is the second event. So Jenna, one of our um, serfs, I guess. You know, woe is me. Um, yes, so what's the problem, Jenna? And uh, the problem is her, her son has disappeared. And, uh, oh, do you have any idea where he might be? Um, and she says that this old hag in the Null March is Swamp Witch. And she thinks uh, um, <laughs> this witch has taken people because she, she eats people and care. Do people frequently disappear? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> basically. The stolen lands are rubbish. I mean, you know, everyone, everyone ends up dead eventually. Anyway. We'll try and find your son. And we get a nice little loyalty bonus. And she's quite she's quite thankful for that. Bye, Jenna. We'll get around to that in a few weeks' time. <laughs> yeah. So. Whoops. Let's just do the next little bit. So. Increase relations from meeting with Stefano. And, uh, um... Loyalty from, from meeting with Jenna. Anyway. This is a long time to um, to solve this. We're going to shelve this for now. Um, and basically, we're going to hang on to our BP. I know, I know we want to, to rank our divine up. Because it, it's it's irritating that it that it's lagging. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to rank up um, Jubilost here and unfortunately I don't think we've got anyone so we can't if this would have been nice to um, to kick in at this stage but we'll do it you know in the next in the next cycle let's just make sure there's nothing nothing else This one here, we can stick Ragonga in here now. It's an 85% chance. That'll do. And... Off we go again. So, you can see a lot of time has gone by. 25th. Right. Okay. Triumph with the Mysterious Cult. Community plus 3. That's really nice. Um, failure. Thanks, Tristian. You've really balls that one up. Because um, our loyalty has dropped down by two. Um, success with Ragonga. Military plus four. And uh, we're going to have a whole host of events. So once you start seeing troll raids, that's bad. Okay. So um, <laughs> so what we've got, um, what we've got here is... Um, it even wants you. Your barony will soon fall. But we're still stable. So, uh, yeah. Everything's fine. We've got a uh, problem with taxes. So we need to go to the throne room. New troll sightings. This is the event I've been waiting for. Um, we've got an opportunity. 17 days. DC 12. We've got another opportunity. Uh, proposal for cooperation. DC 5. 15 and we've got a wolf problem which needs to be addressed immediately so let's stick Rakonga in there these don't need to be fixed we are going to stick Jubilost in there we want that trade agreement we're not going to waste any more time ranking people up. 
because uh, <laughs> um, it's not good. Uh, let me just make sure we are making the most of this. This is uh, quite nice. There. And uh, this is not, but since it's an opportunity, not a problem. If we fail, it's not so bad. Anyway, back to the throne room. And let's see what the issue is. Yes. Your oh, so this is this is not troll related. This is Oleg related. This one. So um, Oleg's been refusing to pay his taxes, even though his trading post is located on Alice's lands. And uh, um, Jod is interceding on his point. Anyway, what's the matter, Oleg? And um, um, <laughs> he's caught between two two regions. I.e., he's still having to pay taxes to. Um, to rest off and to us and you know in theory he's on our land he should only really be paying taxes to us however we don't want to um, uh, alienate the people who are paying our bills most of our BP that we're earning per week is coming from from rest off <laughs> um, 30 a week comes from them so um, let's just ask him oh like which would you rather swear allegiance to rest off or myself and uh, um, uh, being, you know, frontiersman, he's very much, um, <laughs> I don't want to pay taxes at all. Um, what do my advisors think? Um, Kassil being, being Jumandi Aldori's, um, heir, or, um, progeny, um, apprentice, is, you know, <laughs> I think understandably siding with, um, uh, uh Restov. Anyway. And um, um, Jod is just being being nice. Anyway, um, we're going to pick this. Th so, so this actually th um, affects the outcome. Like you can you can sort of fortify the border effectively, and you'll get a project to do that. If we pick, um, you know, being friendly, we'll get a um, a project to build a road. So we're going to pick this one. Neutral good here. We're not going to collect the taxes, and we'll discuss it with Restov. There we go. And uh, um, Oleg is obviously quite happy. Just hopefully our subjects won't make a habit of uh, tax avoidance. Because I need that BP. Anyway, um, Kassil is going to write to Lady Jumandi and sort this out. And there will be more letters and projects coming in because of this. And a little bit of experience. Cool. Thanks, everyone. But at last, the event I've been waiting for is going to trigger... Mm-hmm. Sup, Keston? Yes, ill news from the Nile marches. There are many trolls here, but now the people are afraid to leave their houses. If the wilds are said to be swarming with them. The hunters were the first ones to notice. Then came the merchants. And now there are more reports of trolls attacking villages. The local groups. Yeah, you know, the trolls seem to be lurking around the house of one Bartholomew Del Delgado, the odd mage. Nobody can reach him for fear of the beasts. And uh, the trolls are up to something. <laughs> Bartholomew is clearly tangled up in it. So I wonder what he's got in his barn. That's, yeah. Anyway. Uh, the trolls are coming for him. If the trolls are coming for him rather than to him. So, uh, Keston says pay him a visit. Um, and uh, um, they put the pressure on. Basically, even though it feels like we've just wasted a lot of time uh, and 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 it's all been fine basically we are semi on the edge of collapse <laughs> because i've pushed it to the last possible moment so you know for the rest of this video uh, we've 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 sat on our behind long enough let us go and pay a visit to bartholomew again and we're just going to keep everything like that we're going to solve the troll trouble and we want Jubilost, because he's looking for the Dwarf Fortress. We want Harim, because he's also looking for it. And we want Ekon, because of his troll hunting. He really wants us to, to go there too. Those are the three main NPCs. 
we are going to take down here, these dwarf ruins. We're going to go via here and here as well. But first, let us ensure that we are not overburdened there. And make haste before the whole barony collapses. See what Bartholomew has got in store. This is this can be tricky. As, um, it's not a not an easy encounter, actually. Well, you'll you'll see. There's a lot of trolls, and some some there's there's a there's a timed event. There's aura, yeah, it's essentially a, a timed event. You know, and if you don't act, you're going to be hitting F eight because everything goes badly. <laughs> so. There's no timer at the at the early stage, so we're we're fine here. And you notice a little bug, even though we've rested, you know, for for three times fourteen days, our lesser extent meta magic rod hasn't recovered, and that's um, uh, because we we didn't. I believe it's because we didn't um, rest, as in rest in the bed, and uh, yeah. Adventures call to them. Where are you? There we go. We should move. You require my assistance? And that's the the other thing I've been meaning to do is to um, deal with this. There we go. Be good if you um, learn some spells that you've lost. So um, just uh, I'll just just mention this shield because we can use shield via infusion on our pets. Um, bomber's eye because this will um, uh, just give a small bonus to hit. Um, it's not very important because of it's we're going against touch AC anyway. But a targeted bomb admixture is really interesting because you get double your intelligence modifier to your damage, but you get no splash damage. So it's sort of idea is is for for bosses um, and of course both of these are only one round slash level so that's only going to be six rounds um, at uh, level six I'm very big into these um, these buff spells early on until we get various headbands and uh, uh, belts so cat's grace because we want more cat's grace um, eagle splendor for for buffing Alice for her DC and Fox is cunning for buffing Jubilost, which will increase both its damage with his bombs and uh, make the save DC for those bombs harder. So, so there's l l enemies are less likely to make reflex saves. Patience. Uh, we don't want Bone Shaker on, but what we do want is Archon's Aura, and we'll take Bless as well. No and time for idling. Blur. Let's go fight some trolls. And we're going to a want smile goes a long way. Acid Splash. Friendship lasts forever. My skills are absolute. And I am never wrong. There's something fun yeah, see if I should really just for later. We don't need more fairy fire. So here we go, trolls. Keep your eyes open. We'll do it the hard way. There's uh, many shot there. Putting in work. Not take wasted. Serves you right. You deserved it. Jubilos. Actually, we don't want to waste too many of those. Two down. Primitive. Take down this one. Harem, you're in, you're in danger. Will this one, ever learn? and we'll see if we can acid splash. There we go. First batch done of many. Here we go. So you'll notice I haven't gone all out on buffs because I want to preserve them for for the future. And here we've got um, trolls fighting bandits. So. Use of my talents. Let's focus down the uh, 
branded one. So those are the ones I dislike the most. Harem. I don't know why. Don't know why this bandit. If I was being attacked by trolls like this, and some people came in and started attacking the trolls as well, I would not be attacking the leopard. This one's almost down though. Sorry, buddy. Being completely outclassed. Dead. Who are you attacking? Dog. Your time is dog over. here. No, still good. There we go. Ah. <laughs> this one's still alive. Look at everyone. Let's see whether we can just acid it before it recovers. There we go. Just pinch this stuff. Unfortunately, Bartholomew is um, going to be too indisposed to do his merchant duties here, which is a, a little bit annoying. Anyway, next trolls. Repent. Don't go there yet. <laughs> so double branded trolls. One. Cannot hide from me. Harem, if you just stay there for now, while we make sure this is all okay. Two. In. This is where I step in. Stand down. So. yourself exposed. You'll notice this this ranged heavy party. Even though a lot of my um, a lot of these shots aren't aren't hitting, there's enough coming in to to I guess rip through these these trolls. They also drop um, scrolls of cure serious wounds, which is really good because this is this is light and this is much better than carting around a load of minor wound healing potions. Where are you, Lindsay? What troubles you? Hit that for me. This is my time to shine. There we go. So you'll notice it's across the path. He's obviously upgraded his traps. Anything else? Considering um, uh, the recent events. There and we've got this, here. which is quite cool. <laughs> is that they're fighting these summoned giant spiders, Seriously, which um, right. clearly have been you know, summoned via uh, Bartholomew's traps. Your life low. And they do, they do poison. You can see here, minus three dex. That's, that's spider, spider venom. Poison. Killing trolls. So, everyone what on there. Waste. Let's see about acid. Fortunately, spiders take the brunt of it. We're gonna miss a few times as we do <laughs> indefinite damage. Yeah, all right, everyone, up you come. Your time is your piece. There we go. Nowhere to run. Likewise the same. Just be careful of these traps. Because we don't really want to get... This one. Become as dust. So, uh... Yeah, so this is... Just to, to, to say here, the, the, um... The, the friendlies also get the difficulty-based um, armor bonus, but of course the enemies get the difficulty-based um, AB bonus, so so it, it sort of, I guess, equals itself out uh, with these encounters. They're not they're not much easier to, to kill on this difficulty. The, uh, the, the spiders, that is. Where are you going, Harold? There we go, and there's... 
I believe one last batch. Stop here. Where are you all going? Let's see. Let's see whether we can even get to them. The pathfinder is just messing around. There we go. I think there's more trolls here than there is in the in the troll fort, <laughs> pretty much, for some reason, um, which uh, you might be able to extrapolate. The trolls really don't like Bartholomew. So, yeah. Let's just grab all their stuff. I'll share my path. Grab all those bits. And, uh, ah, there is one more batch just up here. So we got, uh, we got ferocious troll hounds. Uh, which are, are these guys are really unpleasant. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Yes, um, they're gonna, yeah, gross. Really dislike troll hounds. <laughs> I guess aesthetically more than anything. Um, yeah, so. Away, you um, you're a bit, uh, surplus to requirements when we've got two uh, animals <laughs> in the front. Cannot See whether you can actually get that spear in there. And we might as well. Go big. There we go. Will they ever learn? Yeah, they sure can take a lot of hits. But, uh, we got uh, how many acid bombs you got left? There you go, buddy. Easy peasy. So this is the the timed bit. So I, I and you know you can get really unlucky here. It's it's not just uh, it's not just the time thing. There's there's um there's an element of of luck here. So. We're just going to make sure we have a chance to actually succeed. And I'm going to save. Because we might need to reload this. And it's going to take a while. Alright. Adventures are exciting. And we've got all these casts of haste in the bank. There we go. Just make sure that's paused while I just snag little bits I've missed in zero um, time, and in we go. So yes, we're going to find uh, Bartholomew being attacked by a number of trolls, um, and he will die if if you're not careful or if you're just really unlucky. So we're going to rush in full speed and try to take take down these trolls. So. Let's get everyone down here. Everybody in here. So, so he's taken 10. Everyone else. But he's got, um, you can see here, he's got displacement up, which is good, but things can still hit him through that. So we're gonna send Dimwit down we're going to throw a lot of bombs, we're going to fire a lot of arrows, and we're going to hit him with a bone shaker. You should have run. And hopefully, so one's down. Nobody's managed to hit very much. Let's see about sending the other one down and hopefully that will Repent. do it. He's taking quite a few hits. 
Uh, Lindsay, you yes, should also you. be doing something. Okay, that should put down um, this one, I hope. Yeah, there we go. That should be should be fine. Hideous laughter shows its value. All right, easy. And you noticed I, I it was quite quick because I was a little bit worried. But this was Dimwit here, um, who um, um, I think quite understandably was was attacking um, Bartholomew, you know, as 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 anybody might. So, sup, Bart. And we get a nice bit of experience, but we've saved his life, this weirdo. <laughs> and uh, you arrived just in time. I was starting to think it was all over for me. Yes, um, he, <laughs> considering he likes torturing trolls, um, he uh, doesn't like being hurt himself. Anyway, um... Uh, he also he also references this this quest. We've we've gained a new quest. <laughs> his his an item has been stolen from uh, from him. And he if we didn't know it already, if we hadn't recruited um, Ekun, he would mark the location of the troll there on our map, so we'd know where to go. So um, yes, and he gives us another wand of Astara. So. Um, Yes, a few more ones. It's still only one one, but I mean, anyway, thank you. And that is it. We've saved him. If we try and talk now, he just says um, um, he needs to perform some rather unattractive procedures. God knows what. Uh, we get this. This is quite cool. This is the Crusher, a two-handed, oversized great club, which um, 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 oversized weapons have. Um, a, a bigger amount of damage, but they have a, a, a two to hit penalty, and this one apparently has a reduced to hit penalty. So, like um, like a Mary's giant sword, that's uh, that's an oversized weapon. So, anyway, I'm going to stop the video now, having successfully saved Bartholomew on first attempt. So, I will see you in the next video.